comparing numbers. When we compare numbers, there's a couple symbols that we need to know, and one of those is less than. So the less than symbol is this, and here's an example. We could say 5 is less than 7, and you'll notice that the symbol points at the smaller number and eats the larger number. So 5 is less than 7. Next symbol is greater than, and that looks like this. And an example of it being used would be 10 is greater than 3. And again, the symbol points at the smaller number and eats the larger number. And the last one should be pretty easy, the equal sign, meaning that they are exactly equal. So 10 is equal to 10, or 4.5 is exactly equal to 4 and a half. So we're going to use those symbols to compare the numbers here. So uh, 10 is obviously smaller than 15, so we point at that and eat the 15. 10 is less than 15. The next one's a little bit harder. We have a improper fraction and a decimal. Usually it's going to help that we simplify whatever we have and then we should be able to see it a lot easier. So 8 out of 4 is improper. So we say how many times does 4 go into 8? It goes into it two whole times with nothing left over. So we've changed 8 over 4 to 2. Hopefully you can see right away that 2 is larger than 1 and 2 tenths, so we eat the 2. This is going to be 2 is greater than 1 and 2 tenths. Compare these two numbers using the appropriate symbol. This one's a lot harder, but you shouldn't be afraid. What we need to do is change either this decimal to a fraction or this fraction to a decimal. Well, I'm better at changing decimals into fractions, so I'm going to use my place value. Here we have tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. So this decimal is really the same thing as the fraction 875 out of a thousand. Well, that still doesn't help us very much. We've got 875 thousandths, and how does that compare to 7 eighths? Well, I can see that this needs to be simplified. Divide by 125, and I find out that 875 thousandths is actually the same as 7 eighths. The appropriate symbol is the equal sign. These two are actually equal. Compare these numbers using less than, greater than, or equals. This first one, we've got two whole. That doesn't help us. That's the same. Then we look at the tenths place. Tenth place is zero. That's the same. Now we look at the hundredths. And we can see that this one has more hundredths. So one out of hundred is bigger than this one, which would be one out of a thousand. One out of a hundred is larger than one out of a thousand, so we need to eat the larger number. Two and one hundredth is greater than two and one thousandth. This next one, we've got three whole, that's the same. Now we look at the tenths place. This is only one tenth, this is two tenths. That means that 3 and 2 tenths is larger. Even though this looks like it could be bigger, this is actually 18 hundredths. If I look here, there's nothing in my hundredths place, so that I put a 0. And that means that this is actually 20 out of 100, which is larger than 18 hundredths. You need to pay attention to the place values. Compare these numbers. Well, we've got two fractions. 
it's very difficult to compare fractions if the denominators are different. So find a common denominator and change the fractions so they have the same denominators. Then it'll be easy. 8 and 16 both go into 16. So I'm going to leave this one the same. 3 out of 16. And I'm going to multiply this one, numerator and denominator, by 2. So that this one becomes 2 sixteenths. Now hopefully it's obvious that 3 out of 16 is larger than 2 out of 16.